Hmm? Hello, everybody. As you may remember, in my last video, I showed you how to create a video file from an image using the runway service. Many of you were thrilled with this feature and asked about additional ways to use Runway. Well, today I have some excellent news for you. This is truly impressive technology that opens up a world of creative possibilities. You can bring static photos to life. Create dynamic presentations. Or even make short animated clips for social media. Runway's tool uses artificial intelligence to analyze your image and generate smooth, natural movement. One moment. Someone's calling me. Yes, I'm listening. Hey buddy. You know, I just watched your latest video about Runway. It's absolutely incredible how you can create videos from ordinary pictures. I got really excited to try it myself, but then I hit a snag. You see, I can't draw it all. Like, not even a little bit. Even the simplest stick figure comes out all wonky when I try. So here I am, looking at this amazing service, but I can't use it. I have to spend hours scouring the internet, searching for suitable images that I can legally use. It's a real nightmare. I've already gone through tons of stock sites, sifted through gigabytes of images, and I still can't find what I need. It's taking so much time and effort that I'm starting to wonder if it's even worth it. Tell me, is there any way for someone as artistically challenged as me to create the images I need quickly and easily? Yeah, body. That's a problem. Let me think about how I can help you. It's sad that people have these kinds of issues. Wait, I've got it. I have a solution to your problem. You know, Runway has a way to create images from text. If you can draw, I hope you can write. Let me show you how. Get comfortable and let's take a look. Runway offers two main ways to work with images. Text, slash, image to video for creating animations. And text to image for generating images. Let's start with the text to image function, which allows you to create images simply by describing them in words. This method is particularly useful if you don't have ready-made images or drawing skills. It allows you to bring your ideas to life visually, quickly, and easily. Here's how it works. Find the text to image section in the runway interface. In the text field, enter a detailed description of the image you want. The more precise your description, the better the result will be. For example, I'm entering the following. A majestic oak with lush green foliage stands on the high sandy shore of a lake. The lake's waves break against the shore, while a red sun glows in the background, casting a warm radiance, soft, Drifting clouds complement the serene atmosphere of the landscape. Choose your desired image size. In the ratio section, I select widescreen 16 by 9. 
Resolution determines the image dimensions in pixels. In my case, it's 1,344 by 768. The numbers, 1,344 by 768, represent the resolution of the video or image in the runway service. This means width, 1,344 pixels, height, 768 pixels. This resolution corresponds to the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is commonly used for widescreen video. Resolution option shown below, 720 pixels. This is the standard HD video resolution, typically 1280 by 720 pixels. 2K, this is a higher resolution, typically 2048 by 1080 pixels or similar. The selected resolution of 1344 by 768 falls between these two standard options, providing the user with flexibility in choosing the quality and size of the output file. In the style section, I choose none. This means Runway will create the image without applying any additional artistic styles or filters, preserving the original look. In the number of outputs field, I enter four to get four image variants. I click the generate button. After a few seconds, I receive four images, each of which I can view separately and choose the one I'll use to create the animation. Next, I move on to creating the animation. I return to the runway main page and go to the text slash image to video section. I click on select from assets and open the text to image folder where I select the desired image. To create the animation, I use the motion brush tool, which is represented by five colored brushes on the right side of the workspace. I apply the brushes one by one, coloring various details of the image. To create the effect of moving clouds, I use the first brush, coloring the clouds pink. Then, moving the slider, I indicate to the system the direction of cloud movement left or right horizontally. Using the second green brush, I create the effect of a sunset. I paint over the area where the sun is and use the slider to indicate downward vertical movement. To create the effect of wind swaying the tree branches, I use the third blue brush. I paint over the oak branches and use the slider to indicate horizontal movement to the right. Ambient in runway is a parameter that adds soft, natural movement creating the effect of a light breeze in the foliage. I paint the water orange and indicate the direction of movement to the system using the same ambient parameter. To demonstrate the animation work, I add one more movement as an example. With the fifth yellow brush, I paint over the forest on the opposite shore and make it move in the opposite direction from the wind. When finished, I click the generate button. You can observe the video animation creation process in the assets section. Thus, using simple runway tools, I transformed a static image into a lively, dynamic scene.
This method allows even inexperienced users to create impressive animations without deep knowledge of animation or programming. If you want to increase the duration of your created video file by first seconds, you can click the Extend Video button. In the pop-up window, click Extend 4 seconds once again. Now your video file will be 8 seconds long. This simple process allows you to easily double the length of your video in runway, giving you more flexibility with your content without having to start from scratch. So, we've just looked at how to use the text to image function to create an image, and then apply this image to create a video animation. This method is great when you want to have full control over each element of your animation. Now, let's look at another interesting runway tool, the text to video function. Dear Runway, can I create a video with your help even if I can't draw? If it's possible, please explain and guide me on how to do it. Runway responded. Yes, absolutely. This function allows you to create videos directly from a text description by passing the stage of creating a static image. This can be especially useful when you need to quickly create a dynamic video or when you have a clear idea of the movement you want to see. Now, I'll show you how to create video directly from text using the text to video function. This method can save time and open up new creative possibilities for your projects. Let's look at how to use the text to video function in Runway. Find and select the text to video tool on the Runway main page. You'll see a text field where you need to enter a description of the video you want to create. Try to be as specific as possible in your description. I enter the following. A majestic oak with lush green foliage stands on the high sandy shore of a lake. The lake's waves break against the shore while a red sun glows in the background, casting a warm radiance. Soft, drifting clouds complement the serene atmosphere of the landscape. After completing the text, I click the Generate 4 Seconds button. Runway will start the video creation process, which may take a few minutes depending on the duration and complexity of your request. When the video is ready, you'll be able to view it right in the Runway interface. If you're satisfied with the result, you can download the video and use it for further editing in Runway. If you're not quite happy with the result, you can change the text description or settings and try again. To do this, I go back to the created video and click the reuse prompt button. In the prompt field, I can change something or add necessary details. Another way to make changes is to look at other options that Runway itself suggests. 
For this, I click the free previews button. I choose one of the four options and click the use in Gen 2 video button. To create again, I click generate for seconds. I wait for a while and receive the following video. If I still don't like it, I return to the assets section and continue making changes. It's important to note that unlike the text to image method with subsequent animation, here you have less control over individual video elements. However, this method can create smoother and more natural movements, especially for complex scenes. So, we've successfully created a video using the text to video function. Let's summarize what we've learned today. We started with the text to image function, which allows you to create static images based on text descriptions. Then, we used this image in the motion brush tool to create an animation, controlling the movement of individual elements. Finally, we explored the text to video function, which allows you to create videos directly from text descriptions. The choice of method depends on your specific goals and project. In the next video, I'll show you how to change the background of the created video. I hope this video was helpful and inspired you to create your own projects in Runway. Don't forget to practice and share your results in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.